Live from Acadia, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Mark Rigsby. The man at the center of the investigation into the disappearance of Ella Goody, Brandon Francisco, is back in Louisiana. He will face a laundry list of unrelated charges, including attempted first-degree murder and armed robbery in Rapides Parish. Now, Louisiana State Police investigators are preparing to question him about Ella Goody. Authorities arrested 12 people in connection with the murder of a six-year-old girl killed in a drive-by shooting in Lake Charles. I'm News 10's Britt LaFosso. The Opelousa City Marshal is cracking down on catalytic converter thefts. This comes after theft stole the converters out of every vehicle at a local car dealership. Lafayette firefighters say an improperly discarded cigarette caused a two-alarm fire at the Tuchu Lofts on Lee Avenue. Good morning, Katie, and I'm News 10's Niels Rang. A fire Tuesday at an old grocery store in Austin is now being investigated as a possible arson and burglary. Good morning, Katie, and I'm News 10's Elise Corville. An Evangeline Pear, Sheriff Charles Guillory, along with the district attorney's office and local judges, are looking at ways to help nonviolent drug offenders. He says drug offenders can request help from the sheriff's office. The judge and DA will reduce the bond and return the offender agrees to rehab. The Senate approved Judge Katanji Brown Jackson's confirmation to the Supreme Court. Jackson, who will take the seat of Justice Stephen Breyer when he retires in the summer, will become the nation's first black woman Supreme Court justice. The U.N. General Assembly voted to suspend Russia from the organization's leading human rights body over allegations of atrocities in Ukraine. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Danielle Johnson. Beginning in May, a partnership between the LHSAA and Ecker Sports will begin offering NIL courses to principals, athletic directors, coaches, student athletes, and parents from across the state. And as we check that forecast this Friday, it's very chilly right now. Temperatures mid 40s, a little bit of a breeze, and then heading into the afternoon. Very breezy, sunny, and cool again, with those highs right back around 74. All right, we're going to have some great weather this weekend. And of course, there are a bunch of events going on in Acadiana. We interviewed a representative from the Flower Festival that's going to be happening at Blackcomb Coliseum this weekend. I know, that's exciting too. First 300 guests that go, they get a free plant. Yeah. So I think that's a. That's a good incentive there. And then uh, Smile Gala is tonight. Yeah. So Smile's Gala, rather. Smile uh, Community yeah. Action Agency. They're going to yeah. be uh, fancy tonight. We were at the Cajun Dome Convention Center last night for Bark in the Dark and got to watch them set up for tonight. So always something going on in Acadiana. All right. Thanks so much for joining us here on Pond Spot Do. Have a great one.